Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make this painting. Ready, set, let's go! To make this painting, first we are going to do the water, that's the background. In, instead of doing horizontal, we are going to do circle, half circle. So, you have to get some water on your brush, then dab it, the water. Now let's get started. You gotta make sure you mix some white at the top so it's not that dull. Got to do the bottom a bit darker if it's too light. Because the, the further down it goes, the darker it gets. Because the sun is at the top and there's no sun at the bottom. The blowfish come at the bottom. And you gotta dab your brush. And remember the circular motion. You got to dry, leave it to dry for one hour or ask your parents to dry it with the hair dryer. Now the background is dry. Now I can start with the next step. That's the mushroom. You see, I got a little plate over here. You can use a plate or a bowl. It doesn't have to match the size. It can be slightly different. And then you first have to put some dots with the chalk where you want to stop because it's a semicircle, it's not a circle. Now we gotta make the other mushroom. It's facing that right and it's slightly smaller. We're gonna do dots again because it's a semicircle. Now, I got to do the mushroom white inside. You gotta be sure you do the outside before the inside. I need to do some brown inside the tray and some white inside for the stem. I'm gonna do my mushroom red now. I'm going to do one more layer of red so it's uniform. My mushroom is done. Now I can make raw. Now I got to do a bit lighter green by mixing some yellow and green. Make it little curvy. It's okay if you make some mistakes because you are still learning.
Here comes my favorite part, drawing the bubbles. And we need white to draw the bubbles. I'm going to use two lids that are different sizes. You see, now there's no more room for smaller bubbles. So now I leave this in the plate and then use big bubbles. To give it a bubble effect, you need to do just a tiny dot on the side. That's all. That's the reflection of all the things you see around it, the rainbow part. Have my second favorite part that I've been waiting for the whole painting. The dots on the mushroom. I'm using the stick for my rock art. You can get a stick from, that's a brand from a tree or get a stick from anywhere. Now it's time to make little flowers. The technique is one dot, two dot, three dot, four dot, five dot, connected together. Your hands can get dirty just like mine, but the good thing is you had fun. You can wash them to get them clean, and acrylic paint, you can wash them and scrape them. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.